So there's loads of videos out right now discussing ways that you can use AI to make money by selling digital art and products online. The problem is, I don't think any of them quite work yet. Regardless of if the final product is digital or physical, all of these ideas rely on one concept. You use prompts to create unique images that you can then either sell directly or repurpose to create templates or other products. But the problem with almost all of these, and the reason they just won't work, is that every single image created by AI just isn't suitable to sell straight away. They all have one issue in common. They're just too small. The resolution of these images isn't high enough to be able to use them for most of the ideas that people have come up with. Just so you can see for yourself, here's an adorable squirrel image that I made in mid-journey, and he looks great. The issue is that this is how big you can print the image compared to a normal US letter if you stick to professional printing standards. It's pretty small, and honestly, it won't work for anything bigger than a coaster in practice. In reality, if you try and sell these products, you're either not gonna make very many sales, or you're gonna end up with lots of angry customers because you've sold a product that just looks terrible when it's used. So to solve this, I decided to research different ways of improving the resolution of these images. After some trial and error, I found some options that use AI to solve the problem effectively, and they're completely free. Okay, so to understand the issue properly, you first need to understand what resolution actually is. I'm going to keep this really quick and simple, but it's important to understand the problem fully, as improving the resolution is a key way that you can stand out from other people selling AI images online. Time for some image 101. Every image on the internet, regardless of how it is created, is made up of pixels. These are tiny little squares of colour, and combined, they make an image. The more pixels that are in an image, the more data it has, and the bigger it can be. Now, to be honest, on a website, this isn't as big of a problem, because screens require a lower number of pixels, aka dots, per inch. This is referred to as DPI, and on a screen, you only need 72 dots per inch. However, if you want to print these images, as you need to for most of these product ideas, you'd need a much higher resolution of 300 dots per inch. So if you take an image out of Midjourney, which is 1,024 pixels square, you'd only be able to print this image about three and a half inches wide, which is just not that big. This means that you can't use these images to print t-shirts, colouring page books, wedding invites, or basically anything that people have suggested you use them for. Unless you can make these images bigger, they're essentially unsellable. So to solve this problem, I first did a quick Google search and found loads of results, all obviously claiming to be the best image upscaler available. The thing that none of them tell you is that you need to pay for almost all of them for them to do anything of value. Of all the examples I tried, there were only two options that gave me good results, were well made, and were free to use. Upscale Media is the first, and it lets you upscale up to four times the original size for free, and the results were really good. So if this is big enough for your needs, or you don't like the results from the last tool, this might be a good option. The second tool is also free, and it lets us upscale up to eight times times the original size. It's also by a brand I've actually heard of before, and that's Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule is an on-demand printer that originally started with stickers, and now they offer printing services for basically everything. Whether that's mugs, magnets, or, you know, stickers. They've now released a free image upscaler on their website. When you use it, they'll encourage you to buy some of their products using the new image you made, but you can also just download the image and use it for whatever you want. So to use the service, you first need to go to the Sticker Mule upscale page, which I've linked down in the description. You'll need to sign up with an account, and you can sign up with Google, or just use any email. You actually don't even need to verify this email, so you could just use anything. Once you're in, you need to upload your image and select the size you want. So here we're going for eight times, and then hit start processing. Once it's done, you can download the image to your computer and see the results. So for the results, I'm gonna compare three sets of images that were created from the tools. First, the output from the default upscaler in Midjourney. The next is upscale media, and finally, the images that came from Sticker Mule. So the first image from Midjourney has a resolution of 1024 pixels square, so about three and a half inches printed. It looks great, but there's really not much you can do with it. Let's first compare it to the image from Upscale Media. This is four times the size at 4096 pixels square, so you could print this at around 13 inches. This means that this one's big enough for wedding invites and most paper-based products, but you'll struggle to sell these as posters or t-shirts, as those often need to be even bigger. And honestly, in terms of detail, it's very, very good. There's no weird breaks in the image, and it's maintained the look and feel of the image, including the paper texture, almost perfectly. If you're looking to make business cards, invites, or other printed templates, this honestly might be the best option. I also tried it with a completely different image, and as you can see here, again, it did a great job, though there was some pixelization in some places. Finally, let's look at Sticker Mule. This image is 8,192 pixels square, so eight times as big as the original, and you can print this up to 27 inches square making it big enough for even some posters without any further alterations. The quality is pretty insane for how big it is. There is a little bit of blurriness in places, and you might need to tidy up the image here and there because there's a couple of weird breaks, but there's nothing too major. I again tried this with the same alternative image as last time, and you'll see the results were insanely good. And there actually wasn't any pixelization at all. Again though, there were a couple of old breaks, so if you use this tool, do be prepared to tidy up the image a tiny bit. With that said, I say if you need the extra size for t-shirt designs or something like that, 
this is gonna be an absolute game changer. So that's it. For cases where you just need to increase the size by four times, I think you can try both Upscale Media and Sticker Mule and see which works best for you and your exact image. When you need eight times the size, Sticker Mule is the clear winner. The amazing thing about this technology is that it's the worst it's ever gonna be right now. So I'm sure the slight imperfections in these images are gonna be resolved soon enough. But in the meantime, these tools give you a real competitive edge against other people using AI image generators. They'll improve the quality of your images and therefore your products. If you want to learn more about Midjourney and how to get started using it to make images that you can turn into digital products, you can check out this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.